I'm looking at apps. I need help. Help with what? I'm not sleeping well at night, so I'm looking for an app to help me. That's too bad. Did you find one to help you? I think so. I'm going to try it tonight. Let me know if it works. I will. I found a new app. It's really good. What is it? It's called Snapseed. You can use it to edit photos before posting them on social media. You can edit photos on many apps. I know, but I like this one. It has about 29 different tools. You'll have to share it with me. I will. It makes my photos look so much better. Almost everyone has a cell phone. Cell phones make our lives more convenient. There are apps to help us with almost anything. Apps can help you sleep better, use your time better, learn new things, enjoy music, and much more. You probably post a lot of photos on social media, but your photos don't always look good Snapseed can help you edit them. The app has about 29 different tools. You can use them to improve your photos. Then you can share the photos with everyone. Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Talk in English. I'm your teacher, Garrett, and we're glad to have you join us. Yes, welcome to the show. My name is Andrea, and you have joined us for our technology lesson. That's right, today we're talking about useful apps. Oh, well I am sure that this will be an interesting technology lesson. Yeah, it's really interesting to learn about all of the new technology that's coming out. Oh, like new computers, TVs, phones? <laughs> yes, I agree. But uh, it's also hard to remember all of the new things. Yeah, they come out so fast. We can't know about all of these new technologies. But in our technology lessons, we can talk about some of them. In today's lesson, we'll talk about some useful apps that you can use in your phone. Now the word app is short for the longer word application. The shorter word is spelled A-P-P, -P, but we just say app. That's right. Apps are things you download onto your phone, and there are many different kinds. There are apps for taking photos. Apps that help you find the best way to go somewhere. And apps that help you talk to your friends, like social media apps. Oh yeah, those are some of the most popular ones. With social media, people share things about their lives. They can even share pictures and videos. So what apps will we talk about today? We'll learn about that in just a minute. First, here's Sonia with our keywords. Hello, James. I'm looking at apps. 名词, app is application. James I'm not sleeping well at night, so I'm looking for an app to help me. 动词 sleep 就是睡觉 Tina 也找到一个新的app 叫做Snapseed 你可以用它编辑照片然后再发布在社群媒体上 You can use it to edit photos before posting them on social media 名词 
photo 就是照片，动词 post 就是发布。James 叫 Tina 一定要跟他分享这个软体。You have to share it with me. 动词 share 就是分享。Hi James, what are you doing? I'm looking at apps. I need help. Help with what? I'm not sleeping well at night, so I'm looking for an app to help me. That's too bad. Did you find one to help you? I think so. I'm going to try it tonight. Let me know if it works. I will. Hi, Andrea. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Garrett, I'm teaching this lesson with you, of course, but. You know that. <laughs> yes, I do. I just wanted to use the sentence that Tina did. She wants to know what James is doing. I see. Well, he is looking at apps. Now we talked about those earlier. Yes, there are a lot of different kinds of apps. They help you with different things. And sometimes they're just fun to use. Now James needs help. He's not sleeping well at night. Oof, that is never fun, friends. Sleeping is what we do at night. We lay down in bed to sleep, and then we wake up again the next morning. But if you can't sleep well, then you'll be tired the next day. James isn't sleeping well at night, so he's looking. For an app to help him.、Hmm. I don't think we're done talking about that sentence, so let's go talk about it some more with Maria. Here she is. Hello, everyone. It's Maria again, and it's time for use it. Hooray! Let's begin. You go first. I'm not feeling well, so I'm going home. Oh no! You're not feeling well. I'm feeling great. That was my use it sentence. Oh, whew! Is it my turn now? Yes. I'm not very busy now, so I'm going for a walk. Oh, may I go with you? Sure, but before we go, remember to make your own sentence. Yeah, you can say I'm not very busy now, so I'm going to use, use it. it. Thanks, Maria. Well, Garrett, can you use it? Oh,、uh, me? Okay, let's see.、Uh, I'm not getting enough exercise, so I'm going to run in the park later. That's a great one. So let me ask you: Are there really apps that can help you sleep? Yes, there are. They won't put you to sleep right away like magic, but they do help. Well, what do those apps do?、Mm, many of them play relaxing music or other sounds. The music helps you to fall asleep. Oh, now that sounds great! I should try one sometime.、Oh, let me know how it works. I will. Oh, and let me know how it works. Is today's calendar, calendar phrase. <gasps> let me know if it works. Let me know if it works. 让我知道有没有效 This app can help you sleep. Really? Let me know if it works. I'm going to try it. Let me know if it works. I heard it's really good. Let me know if it works. Oh, it works. Let me know if it works. Let me know if it works. 让我知道有没有效 Friends, apps on your phone can't fix all of your problems, but they can help with some of them. Like if you want to spend less money, there are apps that can help. Right? They tell you how much money you're using. Then you can think about spending less. Apps can also help you if you want to learn how to cook. You can find so many things to make. Oh, I love those apps. 
They're very helpful. Friends, if you want to learn something or you have a problem, there may be an app that can help. You can try them and see if they work for you. Oh, that is a great idea. Friends, let's go over to Sonia now. I think she wants to tell us more about this word work. Tina 要 James 记得告诉他应用程式有没有效。Let me know if it works. 英文 work 大部分的用法都是动词，工作的意思。但这里呢 ，work 有可行、行得通、有效的意思。来看例句。How about eating brunch together tomorrow morning? 要不要约早午餐呢 ？Works for me. 我可以哦。或是 Listening to music works for me. You should try it. 听音乐对我有用，你应该试试看。我们再举个例子。I did what you suggested. It worked. 我按照你的建议做，有效了，行得通哎。Thanks, Sonia. That was great. Well, friends, it's time for us to take a quick break right now. So stand up, stretch a little bit, and we'll see you back here in just a minute. Right after this. Let's talk in English. Ten minutes every day. Every day, that's the way. Welcome back, friends. I really do love those apps that help with sleep. Actually, I have one that tells me how well I'm sleeping. Oh, it's great! That sounds good. So, how well are you sleeping, Garrett? Uh, not very well. Maybe I need the apps that help me with my sleep. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> All right. Well, friends, let's keep learning about apps and continue our conversation. I found a new app. It's really good. What is it? It's called Snapseed. You can use it to edit photos before posting them on social media. You can edit photos on many apps. I know, but I like this one. It has about 29 different tools. You'll have to share it with me. I will. It makes my photos look so much better. So Tina says she's found a new app, but this one isn't going to help her sleep. <laughs> That's right, it won't. It's an app called Snapseed. Now, Garrett, have you heard about this app?、Hmm, I think I have heard of it before, but I haven't used it. And I haven't downloaded it on my phone. Oh, download is a good word. Now, friends, when you want to use an app, you need to download it. Yeah, your phone probably has an app that shows you other well apps. If you want to use one of them, just click the download button. So Tina downloaded the Snapseed app. She says you can use it to edit photos before posting them on social media. That sounds useful, but、uh, wow, that's not an easy sentence. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, we'll talk all about these words, but before we do, let's go and talk to Sonia. Tina 解释，你可以用应用程式 Snapseed 编辑照片。然后再发布在社群媒体上。You can use it to edit photos before posting them on social media. 连接词 before 意思是在什么之前。它连接以前以后的两件事情。来看例句 ：Put away your notes before taking the test. 在考试开始之前，把笔记收起来。或是。The little boy had some milk before going to bed. 这个小男孩上床睡觉前喝了一些牛奶。Thanks, Sonia. That helps a lot. Well, 
This app called Snapseed is a photo editing app. So we should probably start by talking about this word photo. <laughs> That's right. Now, I'm sure that many of you have photos on your phone or you take photos with your phone. Photos are pictures that you take using a camera. That's right. The word picture here means the same thing as photo. But when you take those photos, maybe there's something that you want to change. Maybe you can't see it well, or you want to change the colors, so then you can edit them. That's right. You might want to edit the photo so that you see the people more clearly. Or like Garrett said, you can edit a photo to make the colors look better. Better. That's right. So this app, Snapseed, can help you edit these photos. You can also edit things like a video. Now, if you want to edit your photo, you probably want to share it with people. We talked earlier about social media. Things like Facebook or Twitter are places where people share their photos. That's right. So before you share your photo, you might want to edit it. And then you post that photo. Now, what does that word post mean? Ah, well, we're not talking about the mail here. When you post a photo on social media, you put it up on the website for everyone to see. Yes, so when you post a photo, you are sharing it so everyone can see what you post. That's right. The last word we're talking about is the word share. When you share something with someone, you let them use it or see it. You can share things that you have, like your food, or you can share pictures as well. That's right. And right now we are sharing with all of you. When you share, you also tell people things. We're sharing things that we think are important from today's lesson. Well, friends, we have some important things to review our key words. So let's do that together now. Here's your first key word for today. App, application. App, application. You can listen to music with this app. Sleep, sleep. Shh, your dad is sleeping. Post, post. When did you post the news? Photo, photo. Let's take some photos in the park. Share, share. I will share my ideas with you. All right, friends, those are some great words. Maybe you can share some sentences you make with them with your friends. Now, let's go back and watch our conversation one more time. Hi, James. What are you doing? I'm looking at apps. I need help. Help with what? I'm not sleeping well at night, so I'm looking for an app to help me. That's too bad. Did you find one to help you? I think so. I'm going to try it tonight. Let me know if it works. I will. I found a new app. It's really good. What is it? It's called Snapseed. You can use it to edit photos before posting them on social media. You can edit photos on many apps. I know, but I like this one. It has about 29 different tools. You'll have to share it with me. I will. It makes my photos look so much better. has a smartphone. That's right. They make our lives more convenient. Ah, that's right. There are so many useful apps. That's right. Apps that help you sleep better and learn new things. That's right. You can enjoy music too. And much, much more. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Look at this app. 
I can edit photos before posting them. Your photos will look so much better. <laughs> That's right. Everyone should have smartphones. That's right. So... So what? So I should have a smartphone. Oh, uh, well, uh, you, you want a smartphone? That's right. I want a smartphone, please. Please, please, please. Hey, it's fun time on the farm. Great. I love the farm. And today we're talking about sheep. So, let's get started. Okay, what do you call a sheep with no legs? I don't know. What do you call a sheep with no legs? A cloud. <laughs> a cloud? Yes, a sheep with no legs looks like a cloud. Oh. <laughs> right. Hey, well, let me ask you a question. What do you call a quiet sheep? A quiet sheep? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Shh, eep. <laughs> Shh, eep. Very funny. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. How many sheep does it take to make a sweater? Hmm, that's a hard one. Let's see. Um, uh, I have no idea. How many sheep does it take to make a sweater? Don't be silly, Hazel. Sheep can't make sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> hey, well, what about this one? Mm. What does a baby sheep call his father? Uh, daddy? No, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, and what does a sheep call its baby sister? Uh, hmm. Uh, Mammy. <laughs> <laughs> Another good one. Oh. <laughs> oh, these sheep jokes are really bad. <laughs> In a funny way. Hmm. Hey, let's do one more. Okay, what's the question? What do sheep have that no other animals have? Hmm. What do sheep have that no other animal has? Oh, well, I don't know. Baby sheep! Baby <laughs> sheep! <laughs> well, friends, it is fun to see the pictures and photos that other people share and post online. And if you want to see any photos of us or anyone else from Let's Talk in English, you can go to Instagram and look up sc.friends. That's right. We share some fun things that we think you will find interesting. That's right. And of course, don't forget to join us again tomorrow for another great lesson. Right here on Let's, Let's Talk, Talk in, in English. English. Goodbye. Goodbye.